The Lockheed Martin the 1059 Quest, Quiet Supersonic Transport, is an American experimental supersonic aircraft being developed for NASA's Low Boom Flight Demonstrator Program. Preliminary design started in February 2016, with the X-59 scheduled for delivery in late 2021 for flight tests from 2022. It is expected to cruise at Mach 1.42 1,510 km per and 55,000 feet 16,800 meters, creating a low 75 perceived level decibel PLDB thump to evaluate supersonic transport acceptability. Development In February 2016, Lockheed Martin was awarded a preliminary design contract, aiming to fly in the 2020 timeframe. A 9% scale model was to be wind tunnel tested from Mach 0.3 to Mach 1.6 between February and April 2017. The preliminary design review was to be completed by June 2017. While NASA received three inquiries for its August 2017 request for proposals, Lockheed was the sole bidder. On April 2, 2018, NASA awarded Lockheed Martin a $247.5 million contract to design, build and deliver in late 2021 the Low Boom X plane. On June 26, 2018, the U.S. Air Force informed NASA it had assigned the X-59 Quest designation to the demonstrator. By October, NASA Langley had completed three weeks of wind tunnel testing of an 8% scale model, with high AOAs up to 50 degrees and 88 degrees at very low speed, up from 13 degrees in previous tunnel campaigns. Testing was for static stability and control, dynamic forced oscillations, and laser flow visualization, expanding on previous experimental and computational predictions. From November 5, 2018, NASA was to begin tests over two weeks to gather feedback. Up to eight thumps a day at different locations will be monitored by 20 noise sensors and described by 400 residents, receiving a $25 per week compensation. To simulate the thump, AF, A-18 is diving from 50,000 feet to briefly go supersonic for reduced shock waves over Galveston, Texas, an island, and a stronger boom over water. By then, Lockheed Martin had began milling the first part in Palmdale, California. The critical design review is planned for September 2019 and the first flight in the summer of 2021. By January 2019, first flight slipped from 2021 into early 2022. After flight clearance testing at the Armstrong Flight Research Center, an acoustic validation will include air-to-air -air Schlieren imaging backlit by the sun to confirm the shockwave pattern until September 2022. NASA will then flight test it to verify its safety and performance, and to prove the quiet supersonic technology from mid-2022 over U.S. cities to evaluate community responses for regulators, which could enable commercial supersonic travel. Community response flight tests in 2023-25 will be used for ICAO's Committee on Aviation Environmental Protection Meeting CAEP-13, establishing a sonic boom standard in 2025. <laughs> Topic. Design The ground noise is expected to be around 60 decibels, uh, about 1 1,000th as loud as current supersonic aircraft. This is achieved by using a long, narrow airframe and canards to keep the shock waves from coalescing. The low boom X plane will be 94 feet 29 meters long with a 29.5 feet 9 .0 meters wingspan for a max takeoff weight of 32,300 pounds 14,700 kilograms. Propelled by a single General Electric F-414, it should reach Mach 1.5 or 990 miles per hour 1,590 kilometers per hour, and cruise at Mach 1.42 or 940 miles per hour 1,510 kilometers per hour at 55,000 feet 16,800 meters. It should create a 75 perceived level decibel PLDB thump on ground, as loud as closing a car door, compared with 105 to 110 PLDB for the Concorde. The cockpit, ejection seat and canopy come from a Northrop T-38 and the landing gear from a F-16. Its engine will provide 22,000 lbf 98 kilonewtons of thrust, the long and pointed nose cone will obstruct all forward vision. 
The X-59 will use an Enhanced Flight Vision System EVS, consisting of a forward 4K camera with a 33 degrees by 19 degrees angle of view, which will compensate for the lack of forward visibility. United Technologies subsidiary Collins Aerospace was selected to supply its pro-line fusion cockpit avionics, displaying the boom on the ground, and EVS with long-wave infrared sensors. Topic. See also. Quiet Spike Gulfstream 1054 Shaped Sonic Boom Demonstration Related Lists List of X-Planes <laughs> <laughs>